Coral Flatties and Globe Defenders. It's Critical Think from Down Under. And today I thought I'd share some photos and videos that I took this morning. And these are simple observations which uh, show good evidence that, you know, mate, it ain't flat. It's pre-dawn in Brisbane City and this is the view this morning from a Mount Kutha lookout. And uh, yes, it certainly looks flat to me. But we'll make a few observations and analyse them and we'll see how flat it can be. First, I've taken managed to get just before dawn uh, a plane coming in to land. Pretty simple observation. But there's a couple of things in here that point to the fact that the Earth ain't flat. You probably don't notice them. But I'll point them out to you in a little while. Oops, I lost the plane just there, but here we go. Plane coming in for a nice landing. And I just thought I'd take this just for a bit of fun. But then I realised it would be useful for something afterwards. There you go. It's down on the ground. Now, using this little video, we're going to dispel this flat earth limit of vision bollocks. So I've taken a frame out of that video and you'll notice a ship in the water. And because I am quite high, which is 230 meters, you'll notice that you can see the water behind the ship and if that island wasn't in the way you'd see a little bit more now i've identified this ship as this one here it was on its way into port it's a vehicle carrier and i've identified its track and its rough location when that video was taken and it's approximately 30 kilometers from my viewing point. So that ship is approximately 30 kilometers. Now visibility is not stupendous, but I can tell you it's not too bad on this day. In fact, you can see further than 30 kilometers, that island behind is about 50 kilometers away. But you can see the ocean behind the ship my eye level is much higher than the ship, so therefore the ocean is rising until it gets to that island and you can't see the ocean because the island's in the way. Now, here in this picture, I've observed this ship at 24 metres in elevation. And what you'll notice about this is that the water does not rise to eye level. You can see some horizon there, and it's behind the ship, and it's a very clear horizon, and the water should extend. If the Earth were flat, the water should extend to eventually it would reach that red line where eye level is. But certainly you'd expect to see more than all. What's that? Maybe that's a couple of kilometres. I don't really know. But the water just cuts off. Now there are two popular explanations for this at the moment. And one of them is, oh, the atmosphere is thick uh, or stops you from seeing further than that. Um, However, if this were the case, that would not be a clear line there. And it is very interesting, too, that the atmosphere suddenly gets so thick you can't see the water behind it, right at that point where um, the horizon would be if the Earth were a sphere of 6,371 kilometres. Uh, what a marvellous coincidence that is. The other bollocks explanation is the somehow the all this ocean disappears into some line of convergence and uh, 
I have no idea how that's supposed to happen. That's just impossible. Why? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. But flatties do not comprehend this simple thing. Just like this ship here, you can see beyond it quite easily. It's not on the horizon. So this one, you can see beyond it quite easily. This one is only 12 kilometers away. This one is 30 kilometers away. I can see the water behind the ship. This one, the ship is 12 kilometers away. I can see a little bit of water beyond the ship. But after that, guess what happens? Yes, indeed, it curves away so you don't see it. So that's one reason why it ain't flat. Now there's another thing from this video. The flatties always say that planes must dip the nose in order to follow the curvature of the Earth. This is complete bollocks. And we can see in that video, planes, when they come down for landing, they come down in a nose up attitude. So the angle of attack is higher. It's not a nose down attitude. So the plane is actually decreasing in height while the nose is the opposite of dipping. So no, if you know anything about flight mechanics and aeroplanes, you do not have to dip the nose for the aircraft to descend. So the aircraft could easily follow the curvature of the Earth without dipping the nose. Now here we have this other bollocks horizon rises to eye level. Although now there are <laughs> funny part, the um, some flatties are using the limit of vision bollocks to counter the horizon doesn't rise to eye level when you see it, when you actually observe it. So here in this picture, you say there's a sunrise and flat earth will say it looks flat to me, but there's a big problem with this. The big problem with this is where is eye level? Now I've previously done some measurements at the same location and I've got my flat buster mark two and eye level get looking straight out level from the observer you get to the top of that building is a level line which is perpendicular to the local down and this is the accepted flat earth definition as well of what level is so a level line from my location intersects the top of that building and there's a video here which shows this as well so there that's level it's showing zero degrees the spirit level on top is upside down so don't take any notice of its level and we line up the crosshairs with this level level device level and level is actually slightly on slightly above that building but let's just take it at the top of the building is close enough for this purpose so here i've drawn a line on the top of that building now this is level from my observing location now the sun is clearly below that level this would make it impossible for the horizon to be rising to eye level and it would also make it impossible for there to be a limit an atmospheric limit we can see the sun which is at least several thousand miles away on the flat earth model we won't mention that the sun is in the wrong place and also the wrong size, but there you can see it. And here's another thing. Now we've, we've been told 
that infrared can see through the haze and this is indeed correct i happened to take a photo with my infrared camera just at the time of sunrise i took this not knowing exactly what i would see but there's the sun just peeking up over that island over there and using the infrared you can see we can see more of the sun in fact we can see it right down to the horizon so the infrared does see through the blockage of the atmosphere so we would think that if the horizon rose to eye level like it needs to do if the earth were flat that we would see the horizon there this horizon would block the sun because the infrared camera sees all the way to the sun through the clouds even and in this case is a nice clear day look at that there's no atmospheric blockage on this day and if what the flatties say is true i could whip out an infrared camera and all of a sudden i should magically see the ocean behind there but that's not what happens i've tried this myself and this here is from a view from phuket city viewpoint and it's a little bit hazy indeed but you can just see the horizon which is below eye level again oh funny about that and um i whipped out the infrared camera just to make sure and oh oh dear the horizon is certainly sharper but you don't see that the water goes any further than it did before the horizon's still not rising to eye level so there's all that bollocks gone it's just a couple of simple observations in the morning now we've got this intertwined with this is this no evidence of curvature bollocks well i've just shown you two things there and now we're going to analyze the uh, drone experiment and work out we're going to do this drone experiment ourselves here so phuket wood has proposed this undoable experiment and that you in order to test if the surface is curved or flat you need to keep the drone at eye level so there if you draw a level line at the camera keep the camera pointed in that level direction which is perpendicular to the local down then the drone should remain a constant height above the surface of the earth now this is a very difficult thing to do with a drone because if the earth is curved the height above the surface will continually increase and if you fly the drone a constant height above the surface which is easy to do for a drone then it won't prove anything but you need to make that drone follow the camera's eye level just like this diagram so in this scenario here we can fly our drone and we know where our camera eye level is the line there is level we can fly our drone so that it never ever goes below or above that line and if we do that the drone will remain level and as we fly our drone out far enough eventually you'll be see that most of the sun is in between the drone and the ground the surface of the earth is half a sun how big is half a sun that's certainly bigger than 230 meters where it, you know your drone starts off at 230 meters high it's certain gonna be a lot higher than that if it's gonna go over the top of that half a sun so there's your evidence of curvature the ground does the altitude the distance between the drone and the ground gets bigger 
as you fly the drone further away. So, by Phuket Word's own experiment, there's curvature. Now we'll play this. I made a bit of a video of the sunrise. We'll play this. And uh, just so that you know it's not fake. And just remember that the infrared, you can see the sun all the way down to the top of that island. So there's, this sun is rising at 83 degrees angle. So that's not quite east. East is 90 degrees. But according to the flat earth model with the sun circling above a flat earth, according to that model, the sun should be about 40 degrees to the left. But that's a lot, you know, 40 degrees, it should be right there. Not only that, the sun should be three times smaller because it's supposed to go further away and due to perspective, it's supposed to get smaller. But apparently the sun is immune to perspective. And not only that, the sun on a flat earth is above you. So how can it ever, ever, ever appear below you? Below your eye level, below you. According to all the so-called know-it-all perspective dudes on flat earth, the things that are above you converge to your convergence line, which is at eye level. And that would mean that the sun cannot possibly be below your eye level due to perspective. No, 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 there must be another reason. And, uh, gee, I wonder what that reason might be. But the funny thing is that flat earthers have extreme difficulty grasping this concept. This is such a simple thing. And they just don't get it. One more thing here. I don't know whether the sharpest eyes have noticed this, but the sun is in fact traveling to the left, which is to the north, which is in fact the opposite direction to that as predicted by the flat earth. So you see, a few simple observations on Sunday morning, and it's pretty clear it just ain't flat, mate. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.